I am Rachel with Topsy Turtle Thrifter. Welcome to my channel. I am going to show a video of a shopping trip that I took with my mom. It was a shopping event called Sell on the Trail. It was a, um, it's an annual event that's held, and this was my first time to get to go, and it starts in East Texas and goes into Louisiana. So our side is Texas, so we were just going to make a day trip on the East Texas side. There are a lot of participants, and there's supposed to have been a lot of garage sales, and we had gotten there, and we didn't, I think we saw, I think we may have stopped at two garage sales the whole time, but we, we didn't find much there. Um, so what we had found out was is that there was a storm the night before that um, knocked a lot of electricity out for some people so they think that a lot of the garage sales got canceled now in some areas i think maybe even into louisiana or closer to uh, louisiana they may have had more garage sales but i think the event didn't turn out is big uh, the next so it was a two-day event and Friday may have been better but Saturday I think it wasn't as good for the garage sales now what we did find was the downtown area of Nacogdoches and there were a lot of little shops um, like antique shops gift shops and a couple of Goodwills were um, well there was one Goodwill right there downtown so that's where we ended up and the first place we ended up going into was a little shop that had antiques and vintage items and what the lady had told us was is they actually were temporarily closed but they're getting ready to do a clean out and they're going to open it up for boots it looked like it was a two-story building from what we could tell but that day we went in they just had the first floor open and they had a um, they had an area sectioned off for what they were selling for that day because they wanted to participate in the sale and everything in there was 50% off so we I found a good bit of stuff in there now I am almost certain because that was the first place I stopped I'm almost certain I was filming in there but for some reason I'm not finding any of the footage so I either dreamed it or I filmed and it got erased or I just didn't film at all but I don't have any footage of that shopping um, I don't have any footage of that particular store but I do have uh, we made so many stops that day I do have um, of a Goodwill the first Goodwill we went into I have a, another thrift store that we found and there was a little market shop we ended up finding they had more vintage and collectibles and it was very similar to the shop that I ha uh, have my booth in here in our town so I did find a good bit of stuff that day um, like I said the first stop was probably the best at 50% off so I'm going to show the shopping video and then I will have a haul video so I have to also once I do the editing I'll find out if I have time to add the haul at the end because I do have a good bit of items so very likely I'm going to make a second video showing the items that I actually did bring home so you will see some of that in the shop along but there, there's some that just I didn't get on camera so here we go I'll show you the shopping part All right. so this was the first Goodwill we went into this piece it reminded me of uh, Italian pottery but I did not see a mark on it. I did put it in the buggy to check it out. I think I ended up putting it back because I found a chip on it. Uh, this is a wooden jar that had a little coin on top. I thought it looked interesting, but um, when I looked at it a little further, it, I think it was just a souvenir piece. And here I'm just showing you all the little knickknacks and things on the shelf uh, this is a butter dish that I might have would have picked up it was really pretty but when I looked started to look at it I saw the had a big chip there on that corner edge um, they had six dollars and 29 cents on it I do know I need to work a little bit better. I can see here on my camera angles and maybe slowing down. Um, I was also dodging other shoppers in the store, so it was a little bit of a challenge here.
I'm just looking at all the things. I didn't find anything really significant. I believe this is a Homeco figurine. I was looking for jars on this day because I was um, I'm wanting to fill some with buttons to put in my booth and so I was checking out all the jars and bottles. I think that the lid was messed up on that one. I'm not sure what that one was, but I think I did put that back. Clowns. I saw a few clowns this day. Oh, this is a um a holder, uh, like maybe for mugs is what it would have been originally for. And this is a maybe a teacup and then you would put your tea bag in that little pocket side pocket there I looked for a second one because I would have picked those up if it would have had a second one but I didn't ever find one I did like the size of this jar but and I liked that wooden lid but the seal around it was messed up it didn't have a good seal it was really loose this was a pottery ashtray but it had lots of chipping and damage on that <laughs> I thought he was just funny <laughs> holding his dentures All right this is the next shop it's the thrift store um we discovered it on our way to the, ne uh, the next Goodwill. They had a lot of nice things in here. I did find a few things. Some of it was, some of the more, the vintage items that I've really been interested in were priced at retail. So I wasn't able to get too much, but I did find a few things. I enjoyed looking through this shop. Now these were, uh, looks like quilts that had been started but they never got finished. So it's just the little patch pieces there. Oh, this was a lot of glassware. The dish with the spoon. It was silver plated. I like I like things with strawberries on them. I really like these plates, but I did not pick those up. A lot of clear glass. Oh, I like this little crock, but that lid did not fit it. I don't think that was the right lid for it. I think that was just one that was placed on it. A little bit of green here. Lots of serving ware. They had a lot of dishes. What an assortment. If you needed some plates and bowls, they had them here. Those were, that was a wooden salad set, I believe. But I have something similar, so I didn't pick that up. And then that was a lacquerware bowl. I was going to get it, but the closer I looked at it, it had a lot of surface wear on it. It really was not in the best shape. More dishes. I like the print on these also. I have some bigger ones with that print. Pots and pans. Uh, I, this is a bean pot. And it is West Bend. 
I did think about picking it up, but I checked the prices on it, and they do not sell very for very much. Then I found the artwork, and I really liked this piece. Um, the painting was nice. It really wasn't done very well. These were nice uh, crochet hot pads, and I did pick out a couple of these for me uh, to use because I like to use these. I think they were marked 25 cents each. There's Avon bottles there. This set was really pretty. I don't remember, I don't recall what the maker's name is. But I thought that was really nice. They had it priced $49.99. I believe those houses maybe are liquor bottles. I'm not real familiar with those. So this piece I really wanted. The Carnival of Glass Bowl. Uh, looked it up. They had it priced right. Probably just even more than what I would have been able to sell it for. So I couldn't justify buying that. Here's the bottles. I always like to look at the older bottles. I I have a green one so I didn't pick that one up. I have I think a more than one. This I thought was a nice size for buttons. And it's a wooden box. Not sure what that would have been used for. That was interesting. It had the cork attached with tape. So I don't think it was going to fit inside the bottle very well. There was Pyrex, but not in good shape. And then a USA Pottery shell dish. <laughs> Now this was the next stop, the second Goodwill. Now this was peculiar. It was a ceramic leg with a sock and shoe. Um, I'm not quite sure what that would have been, what its purpose was for. If anybody knows, let me know down below. I just thought that was interesting. I had a yellow one, I think, before. These little angel candlesticks. They are $2.29 each. Mm. And I don't see any chips anywhere. This is $2.29 enamel melting pot. Oh, look at this lamp. <laughs> look at here. Yeah, I love that.
at that chair. This is cute. Did you see that? that little, Which one? That little chicken basket. So this was the Merchant's Mall that we saw when we went to the Goodwill. It was right across from it in the parking lot there. This was a clearance shelf that I did pick up a couple items here. Some of these things didn't have prices on them. But I did manage to find a couple things. They had a lot of nice things in this mall. Um, this is the... Uh, place that I thought was very similar to the vintage and collectible shop that I have a booth at. So I saw a lot of similar items that I see there and they were priced accordingly as well. It's a neat looking ink bottle and it still has the ink inside of it. It's a collection of oil lamps. There. This was a nice little vanity set. However, as you can see, there was quite a bit of damage to it. There's teapots. I really liked that cream and sugar bowl set there with the strawberries, but that sugar bowl was missing the lid on it. I contemplated in getting this, I believe it's Hazel Atlas, a pitcher, but it doesn't sell well by itself. It does better with the sets with glasses, and I didn't see the glasses anywhere. Salt and pepper shakers. Here's an assortment of creamers. There. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, I really liked this little turtle. I guess that was a teapot. Um, I thought that was super cute, but they had that priced up a little bit high, and I couldn't justify buying that.